Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. <laughs> we were the ones kind of pissing off Frank. Okay. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Okay. Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, he's... Uh... Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Uh, of course please? I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Oh, Rachel's letter. Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! You were part of her problem, always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's... Fuck! This is hard. This is really hard. We're gonna have to start over the entire. Ah! Uh... Listen, Chloe. Watch your mouth. You kind of. Uh, no fight. No, nah, that's shit. Just the name. Oh. Uh, sorry. Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. Right. Okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you... I... Finally. I... 
Dude, she was... We're... We're all... Shit, you wouldn't have... Dog rescue... No. You and Clo... Okay. Did you know Rachel? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Come on. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. All right, that was... Uh, harder than I imagined this conversation to be in. Okay. Cool. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Mm-hmm. Leave the beach. Like last episode, I'm doing um, all these recordings in one session, so, um, yeah. Chloe, are you okay? Once again, sorry about my I'm glad things worked out odd way of talking right now nice due to, to my uh, wounds and blisters and shit in my, in my mouth. Better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. By the way, I, I realized I haven't been reading this. Like, they have this entire diary as a journal going through the entire damn story. That is so cool. Um, okay, so let's start with... Why do you put Nathan's clues down here, not up here? Okay. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Okay. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, so phone. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Hmm. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Right. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack.
If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, the number I think would be too useful. So yeah, I guess that'll be the okay, last one. Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Well, okay. Nine five three five is obviously the uh, first one to try. Oops, bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Shift, so the student file. Ten. I don't imagine it, but you locked it, dumbass. Ah, oh, fuck. Eight Shit again because you did miss something. Eight seven eight eight seven eight eight. Wait. Oh, wait. Seven. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it was a nine. It was a nine. Booyah! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Hmm. Okay. Good. We will solve some more stuff on the next episode.